From VOA Learning English, this is the Technology Report. Broadband internet service can be costly. Some countries do not have high-speed internet because of the cost involved. But Microsoft Corporation and other companies have found a way to bring low-cost, high-speed internet service to Ghana. They are turning to some very high and ultra-high frequency bands to do so. The frequencies have yet to be used and are sometimes called white spaces. Sean Seeley is Chief Executive Officer of Spectralink Wireless. His company and Microsoft are partners. He says their program provides students in rural Ghana with internet service up to five kilometers away from the university. The program combines Wi-Fi wireless technology with white space to provide internet access to Ghana. Recently, the program became the first of its kind to do this. Sean Seeley says television white spaces can be thought of as super Wi-Fi. They can reach further than normal Wi-Fi and are less costly. Frank McCosker directs the program for Microsoft. He says the program is part of the company's $75 million For Africa initiative. Mr. McCosker says the program is investing in new businesses and new technologies. They also include training and partnerships with businesses in a number of other countries, including Tanzania, South Africa, Kenya, and Namibia. He says the program works to find new ways to make internet service more affordable. Mr. Seeley says he expects internet service costs to drop in the area as white space connectivity becomes more available. Spectralink Wireless now plans to take white space internet access to Nigeria, Ivory Coast, and Cameroon. For VOA Learning English, I'm Jonathan Evans.